What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action RPG using Unreal Engine 4. So in today's video we are going to fix the combat issues which I've mentioned earlier, which are, you know, the problem where when your attacking animation gets interrupted, you can't move anymore. So for example, if you're attacking and you jump, you cannot walk anymore. Or if you're attacking and you get attacked before the attacking animation ends, you cannot move anymore. So we are gonna fix this problem very quickly. It's not gonna take a lot of time. I'm gonna explain to you why this happens. So we're gonna go to the attacking animation, for example, light attack montage. And uh, what the problem is, is that over here we have this um, enable movement and disable movement. Uh, notifiers and if the animation gets interrupted after the disable movement but if before the enable movement what happens is that the enable movement never plays and you cannot move anymore unless uh, you start a new attacking animation and the enable movement is played again so what we are gonna do about it is we are gonna go to the blueprint and figure it out so where we added this i'm not sure one moment let me check yeah movement on find references movement graph yeah let me check one more thing let me check my interface Yeah, we have this one called movement. I'm really not sure where we set it. Let me check. Yeah, here it is. Event movement. So, you know, this one is connected to the notifier and uh, it also sets this variable, which is called movement on. And if movement on is the variable is connected to the um, movement, like if it's true or if it's true, you can move. If it's false, nothing happens. So when the animation gets interrupted, you get stuck with it false and you cannot move anymore. So we are going to fix that right now by, um, wait, let me take this to its own comment. So yeah, what we are going to do now is we are going to create a brand new variable and it's also going to be a boolean and we are going to call it is ready. And we are going to set it after the event movement, the set movement on, we are going to set if it's ready and compile and now we are going to comment on them i'm going to call them event disable slash enable movement and we're going to place them over here like this now what we are going to do is we are gonna go create a macro for it and we're gonna get the new variable that we've oh i forgot to rename the macro yeah we're gonna name it ready with a uh, question mark and we're gonna get the variable which is is ready and we're gonna make a branch out of it and the input goes to this like when the f macro is fired and the output we are going to create one for true and one for false and just keep them true or false and now to use this macro we are going to go to each uh, animation that uh, interrupts the attacking for example if we go <coughs> sorry i'm i'm getting uh, i'm coughing yeah, if we go to the combat graph and we go to the, I don't know, the on hit, yeah, we're gonna place it next to the, like before the play anim montage. So just drag it in. Where's the macro? There it is, ready. If it's true, we get, like we hit the um, anim montage, we start it. Or if it's false, nothing happens. So if we go back to the, I don't know, the jump, let's try it on the jump. So we're gonna go to the movement graph again. 
And where's the jumping part? Yeah, jump. So before we play any montage, or actually before the entire thing, so... For example, if we drag them all here, and add in the macro before the branch, If ready is true, we can jump. If it's not, we cannot. So, for example, if we are in the middle of an attack and we jump... Yeah, we can jump unless the movement is back on. But if you... For example, if you attack and put your sword back, you cannot move anymore. So we're gonna have to add the macro to the to everything that interrupts the attacking animation so we're gonna go to the all of these graphs and you know add it before each anim montage that interrupts the attacking so in the movement graph we have the toggle walk toggle sprint toggle crouch and the jump i'm not sure does crouching interrupt the attacking let's try it out yeah, it does, okay. So we don't want to be able to crouch unless we're not attacking, so we're gonna add it anyway. Where's the crouching? Yeah, over here. Before we crouch, we're like before the crouch ma macro, we're gonna get the ready macro and add it here. If it's true, we can crouch. If it's not, we cannot crouch. So let's try it out. Yeah, we can no longer crouch while attacking. And we are also gonna add it. Oh, we added it to the on hit. I, I don't remember that. Yeah, the sprinting. Can we sprint while attacking? Let's try it out. No, we can't. Okay. We don't need to add it here. Now we're gonna go to the combat graph and take a look at what else we have. We have the draw weapon. Yeah, we really need it over here. So we're gonna add it like this. Actually, let's add it inside of the macro. So before the... yeah, let's, let's not do it. Just here. We can add it later. So if it's ready, we can draw the weapon. That's it. Light attack. Yeah. Mm, there's no need to put it here. Also for the heavy attack. The blocking. Yeah, right now I have blocking disabled. I'm not sure I remember which input I made for the blocking. So we're gonna take a look and see what button I changed the blocking to. Block is Q. Okay, block is Q. Let's try it out. So if we're attacking and we block, we cannot move anymore. So we're gonna need it for the blocking. Wait, where's my, yeah, over here. After pressed, why is this like this? Yeah, we're gonna... Can we move these? No, we can't. Okay. You know what? It doesn't bother me too much. Yeah. After pressed, we're gonna check if it's ready. So, if it's true, we execute to... Lock on? Yeah, we don't need to be ready to lock on. You can lock on while attacking. It does not interrupt the animation. And we have the attack sway, we also don't need to be ready for it. And yeah, I think that's about it. Everything... Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna compile. And try it out. And... If we go to the enemy... We can also try to get hit while attacking. You know, the, at the hit animation no longer plays while we are attacking, but it's worth it because... Uh, oh, we killed the enemy. So actually, I thought of a way to um, get the character to interrupt, like get the hitting to interrupt the attacking animation without... while still playing the anim montage. So instead of is ready, I'm gonna try to... over here... After the play anim montage and the change health and the yeah before the delay, we are gonna go back to the uh, movement on uh, variable. Actually, why is it in the combat category? We're gonna move it to the movement category, and yeah, we're just gonna get it here and set it after the 
animation, which is the hitting animation, like the reaction animation, and we are going to set it to true. And what that does is it allows you to move after being attacked, like after being interrupted, after your hit gets interrupted. And what this does is it basically no longer feels, you know, stiff. So we are going to go try it out with our enemy. So for example, if they are hitting them, uh, us, or we are hitting them, and yeah, now it interrupts the attacking. So if I attack while, like if I get hit while attacking, yeah, as you can see, like this, I can't, oh, I died, okay. But yeah, it's fixed. Uh, we don't need this here, so make sure to delete ready from here and add in the movement on like set it to true when the attacking like the reaction animation plays and what that does is it allows you to move again now the other one we made is very useful for the things that are triggered by the player so for example you cannot jump unless you you know finished your attack unless you want your jump to interrupt the attacking animation for example if you are attacking and you just want to jump very quickly you can uh, do the same for as what we did with the hitting like the reaction part so for example where's the jump we're gonna go to the movement graph and we are gonna go back to the jump area where is it for example jump and let's just disconnect this and right after the anime montage or you can do it before it doesn't matter you know they play together yeah during the anime montage we're gonna set movement on to be true and that way jumping can interrupt your attacks but you can still move after it and you know i think it's not a good idea because when you jump while attacking uh i think it might move you forward a little bit yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, this also works. So you can choose between both. I'm not gonna delete this. I'm gonna keep it here just in case so that I can remember if it's like that, that it's an option. But I mainly don't want my character to jump while attacking. You know, same goes for blocking and everything else. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna leave it the way I set it up in this video. And we are gonna save. So that's about it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really hope uh, it was useful. Uh, we fixed the attacking and it was very useful, actually. Uh, this problem was very annoying. And uh, while testing, it really bothered me. So I thought I'd do it before doing the dying animation. So yeah, please look forward to that. In the next video, we are gonna do the dying animation. And in the one after it, uh, we are gonna do the health bar. We're gonna finish it. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching, super special thanks to my precious patrons who are supporting this channel and getting the project files, I'm probably gonna update it after this video or the next video. Uh, yeah, the next video, I'm gonna upload it tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna update the project file tomorrow. So yeah, look forward to it, patrons. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and if you aren't, make sure to like the video and I'll see you next time. Take care and bye.